AI is cool, but it can get expensive. These are the best free AI tools to save you thousands of hours and thousands of dollars every year. And this first one we're going to kick it off with is a game changer. If you do anything creative, if you make YouTube thumbnails, if you create adverts, if you create blog posts, anything like that, this is Ideogram. It's a free image generating app. It's free levels are pretty generous. And I find that when you use it compared to something like ChatGPT free mode, the images are coming out way better and way more in depth for you. So let's try out something like Pizza Restaurants New York and see what we come up with. It will actually queue you up and it will create four images for you and do a magic prompt automatically. So it will improve your prompt. So you can just give it a few words and it will go out and improve it. And you can change the um, aspect ratio, ratio and all sorts of things like that. But then it's going to come back with several images for you to choose from. And you can see here some of the ones we've generated. Pretty awesome. If you're trying to advertise a pizza restaurant and you wanted to go and change text on there, you could do that easily with a tool like Canva. You can, I mean, look at this. In like seconds, you can create pretty cool images of whatever you want. You can see some of my library here of some of the stuff I've created that comes out real, real nice when I'm playing around with it. You know, this like ice glowing iceberg effect. Pretty awesome. Big fan. Ideogram number one. The next one is a game changer if you're always forgetting your ideas or you've got notes scattered everywhere or you're just never getting your right thoughts in the right place. This is Cortex AI. This is an AI powered second brain. And I have used second brains. I built myself this like online second brain in Notion before to store all my ideas. But I get frustrated with Notion because I'm always, it's always complicated to try and work out how to do something or build something else in there. And I can never still quite find the ideas when I need them. Whereas Cortex solves all of that for you. You can get all your ideas, hi notes, highlights, and writing and put it all in there and use their KAI to actually pull out your ideas with your work. So if we log in, you can see the dashboard here that gives you some of the options of what you can do and some templates already built in, whether it's YouTube newsletter and article outline, it can help you brainstorm and outline video ideas. Um, and also when you just hit capture here, you can put in your thoughts as I did here. Cortex is a great free AI tool. It's just really easy capturing of your ideas in your inbox. And then you can start to use the AI to pull these into other projects you're working on, or then jump into the chat mode as well, where you can start to use the KAI and pick which model you want to use. Now in the free version of this, you can use Gemini uh, various models, but if you want to pay for it, you can open up all the other AI models as well. But for most people, that'll be fine. You can use it in all sorts of ways. You can use it to help you write great AI prompts. You can actually add sources. So you could add different sources of a book, a website, a link, all that sort of thing. Pull all more information in here to start working with this second brain. So it kind of combines capturing all your thoughts and ideas, using them alongside your projects and your different things that you're trying to achieve in life, whether that's something creative. So everything's there at your fingertips when you need it. So I'm really excited to start using Cortex more and more to improve my workflow and capture my ideas more efficiently. And this might work really well with the next free AI tool, which is an AI note taker that is free. Now, one of the first favorite things I started using AI after we got ChatGPT was being able to take and disseminate notes from my video calls all automatically. And Fathom is one of these AI note takers. But as you can see here, you can get started and free forever. Free plan gives you everything you need as well. You've got Zoom, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams with unlimited recordings every month. You've got unlimited storage, unlimited recording length, and unlimited transcriptions. So all of your calls, you can record and get transcribed by the AI. You can even go further if you're not using massive limits you can get ai action items follow up emails um, ask questions about your transcripts every month and even download there's all sorts of stuff but basically the core of this you can get for absolutely free every month which is awesome and as i said you could just go and take your transcripts and use them within cortex for whatever projects you're working with now some things are just so simple that they're genius and this thing is things.co and this is literally a website of 6,000 different icons, different things that you can go and download for free. They're all AI generated, which is why it fits in this AI category. But someone's made these. You can just go and grab these icons, whether you're working on a website project or you want to use them for other images. You can just go grab these and start using them completely for free. And you can even search here. So you could say like, yeah, let's say Adidas shoes and boom it's come up with loads of different sneakers we can use there's some nice nike high tops in there not quite adidas and look at these crocs <laughs> this is great i only found this today and i was like man that's got to make the list that's cool love that great if you're doing any sort of web design or want to 
pretty up your, your Word documents. If you want to start learning things 10 times quicker than everyone else, you want to head over to Notebook LM. This thing is an absolute powerhouse workhorse. I use it all the time, particularly when I'm trying to find new topics and learn new things. And I'll give you a little demo of how it works. This is something I call my AI Alex Hormozy. But basically, you can pull all your information in here from, say, your research or something you're trying to learn or question knowledge bases. You hit this add source at the top here of, of a particular notebook that you're looking to pull information in. You can add Google Docs, Google Slides. You can add a website link. You can add a YouTube link. You can even just copy and paste text or upload sources. Or you can hit this discover, discover sources button and use the AI to go and actually find sources on the subject that you want to talk about. Now for this, this is my AI Alex Hormozy notebook where I pull all my favorite things that he's talked about and his, um, his best videos. We could go and import even more knowledge into this knowledge base. And basically, now we can start questioning it. We can either just start asking questions and get information from our knowledge base about what Alex has to say on this matter, or we can create all sorts of things. We can create an AI podcast on the right here that will have two people having a natural conversation talking about this subject. So you could just go and listen to that if you prefer to learn by listening. You can create these um, mind maps. These mind maps are awesome, by the way, for stuff. You can open, you can get all the information disseminated in these nice sort of uh, mind maps and open up and dig deeper and deeper into di different subjects. So we're talking about um, leveraging organic content and ads and video sales letter and why and how to create a sales letter. Pretty cool. I love these as well, which you can download those as well. You can create briefing docs, AQ study guides, all sorts of things, even like a quiz. You can <laughs> create literally a quiz to test your knowledge, particularly good if you're studying for exams and you want to learn some subject matter. This is awesome for that sort of thing. It's um, This is incredibly powerful. And if you're not using Notebook LM, then you really need to start using it. It's a tool from Google. So yeah, it's free to start using. And while we're talking about Google, you can jump over to Firebase Studio as well and start building your own apps, start coding stuff for free. So you can see I actually built a couple of things in here, like an SEO forecaster and stuff when I was testing it out. Didn't pay a penny to use it either. Um, but you can see there's some ideas here that, that come out. So um, we could say like, let's let's click, I'm feeling lucky. Let's get it to generate us a prompt and see what we're going to come up with. Um, dedicated weightlifting tracker app. Um, key features include, include specific exercises, sets, reps, viewing a detailed workout history, et cetera. So we can prototype a whole app with AI. I didn't even have to think of it. It came up with the idea that we're going to use. And boom, it's even called it Iron Track. That's going to be our app. It's come up with colors, our typography, uh, the AI kit that it's going to use, everything in here. This is going to make us an AI prototype of our workout tool. This is awesome to be able to get done so quickly. Look, it's going and start encoding for us in the click of two buttons. And boom goes dynamite. We've got Iron Track, the AI powered workout uh, prototype app. It's even got an AI coach in there as well. So you can actually see the, the sort of initial flow that we've got and you can start putting your gemini api keys in there and actually build out a functioning app a prototype for you to get close to launch that's pretty cool that's pretty awesome to be able to do within just a couple clicks of a button without paying a penny now over on claude which is a similar tool to chat gpt bit of a competitor but maybe it's more suited to coding and it does write even better as well so i'm a big fan of claude now in claude there's something called the artifacts feature and this has got loads of different things you can use. There's some like standard off the shelf sort of AI coded games, life hacks, um, all sorts of little tools in here. Now, the really cool thing about this is you can actually launch your own artifacts as apps really quickly. So sometimes I use it to build out interactive dashboards for stuff I'm talking about or showing to my SEO clients, or I actually built out my own AI tool and was able to launch it all really easily within this artifacts feature. I didn't have to pay anything to actually, else to actually host it or make it work. It even integrates the Claude AI to work on my projects. It's AI powered as well. So the way it works is I can take a list of all my SEO keywords for one of my clients. I can put them in here, all the keywords we want to rank our website for and get it to generate an AI topical map. Basically, it's going to cluster all these keywords, put them into the right order for all the different articles I want to write, group them all up, and then give me the outline of the article and titles, descriptions, everything I need to go and execute this plan, basically. And I don't have to pay a penny to host this. Now, I won't bore you too much with any more SEO chat, but what I will do is show you 11 labs. Now, this is all about voices. This is how you're going to create AI voice. You can 
write stuff down. You could paste text into here and actually get stuff created in spoken word. So so you can pick all sorts of ways to use this. There's even a voices section here where you can pick trending voices of people you like or even some deep fake voices, I'm sure, are in there. Or you can even go one step further and create your own voice designs as well. So you can create your own entirely new voice from a prompt if you want a particular accent or a particular feel to narrate. And of course, you've got credits, you've got... 10,000 credits to start with as well, completely for free, which is awesome. Now, if you do upgrade, then you can actually do something pretty cool on the paid version and professionally clone your own voice. So you can actually make a real life sort of AI clone of your own voice, which is an awesome thing to be able to do. But on the free version of it, there's plenty of plenty of stuff you can get done you can even do speech to text you can dub stuff you can have sound effects added in this is the tool you want to be using if you're wanting to add voice to some of your video work or some of the social media posts you're doing but you don't actually want to use your voice or speak stuff for yourself 11 labs is the place to be for that plus you can even switch over to their conversational ai section and actually create ai agents that can work and talk on your behalf um, which is pretty cool now if you've been following me for any period of time you'll know that perplexity is one of my favorite tools but i first started using it when it was completely free now on the free version you can only use perplexity's sonar model on the paid version you can actually select through different models and stuff there which are pretty cool but this is a really great tool for ai powered it's an ai powered search engine ai powered research so one of the ways I used to use it on the free version was just asking it to research some punchy facts, stats, data on articles and pages and information I wanted to know about really quickly. Now, the thing about Perplexity is it's super sharp and super quick at getting you accurate information. I find a lot of the AI models, they kind of hallucinate or they link to dead sources or it's just not quite right. Perplexity I find much more accurate. And you can see here, it's given me my list of stats and facts that I need, which is pretty cool. And it's cited everything as well. So we've got places to go and double check that all of these are correct. You can even actually highlight stuff and ask more follow-up questions, or you can go and ask these related questions at the bottom here to improve your research. If you're using these LLMs and you're struggling with prompting, then Prompt Genie is going to be your free AI prompt helper friend. This is a place where you can go to go and help you actually craft really good prompts. So for example, write a landing page copy for my solar panel business to help with seo and we can use between primer and mastermind prompt here you can hit generate prompt if you upgrade you get like the ai amplifier and you get a few more credits every month and stuff but again the free version is more than enough to get most people going and get enough what you need and boom it brings out a really great in-depth prompt that then you can go and take and use in chat gpt claude perplexity wherever you're doing your work um you can see it act as a world-class copywriter specializing in SEO friendly content. You know, all the good prompts should be starting with like telling, giving context about what the job is they're going to do. We've got more context below, giving a response format and some instructions. But you can go and tweak this as well. You can see as well, if you change the settings here, it gives you a slightly different style of prompt output as well to play around. But it's given us again, a nice structure of exactly what we want in our prompt to start working with. And I think you can test them in here as well, although you've got to upgrade to pro for testing, but you can just go over to chat gpt and start testing them for free there and if you want even more ai goodness then check out this video of ai tools that make me over 400 percent more efficient